Thielen Flutter as a beginner? And the answer is... Hmm, it depends. And let's start with why. Why do you want to learn programming? Some of the reasons that I think you guys have are to solve a problem, to upgrade your skills, or for fun. However, for those who are lost in learning a language on what to learn, why not start with solving a personal problem? Why? Example is, if you can't wake up on time, like we all normally do, how can you solve this by having an alarm to prompt you to sleep early? Great, you have a problem and a solution. And this will help you in being motivated to learn a language or framework to solve your problem. When you want to solve a problem, you will get motivated in creating a solution for yourself because it's a selfish reason and it's beneficial for you. And once you find a problem and a solution, get the right tool for the right job. Does machine learning and blockchain solve the problem of waking up on time? Does creating a mobile app or does creating a website solve the problem? Well, from the example of an alarm clock, do you need it to remind you through a website? Or do you think an app will suffice? In the end, get the right tool for the right job when you're learning programming language because anything can solve your problem whether it is the right tool for the right job for example flutter web is it the right tool to create a website now not really because it is janky and it is not really stable enough and it doesn't have the supported libraries or third-party packages in order for you to get a fully functional website. Third, from Stephen Mischuk, if I pronounce you correctly, an experienced freelance developer and a developer himself. Check out his YouTube channel, it's pretty awesome on the right. He talks about fundamentals, fundamentals, fundamentals. This is because all of the language looks very similar to one another. I started learning Ruby on Rails in a programming bootcamp. However, my fundamentals was shit. And it still is. I was lacking on what and how to make use of the concepts that can make my coding so much better. For example, the concepts of inheritance and polymorphism. If you don't know what's that, you're probably, uh, you should look up to it and you see how much it can actually improve the quality of code you are putting out there. And for myself, I always want to improve my craft in programming. You know someone is passionate about programming when he say or she say coding is an art. Coding is an art. You have to really get in your fundamentals and slowly progress into becoming a better software developer. So if you create an app, your first app, it is probably shit but then look on how you can improve on it. And lastly, and this is I think something very dear to me, is that we should write code for others. What I mean by that is you should write code that other people can read. When you start a project, document all the piece of code you have created. Why? Trust me, from my experience as a software developer, you will wreck your brain on why this line of code means. Therefore, when you're trying to create an app or software, learn how to write understandable statements, functions, classes, and variables. If you don't know what that means, basically when you write, you write it like a statement, a human statement. I would not recommend you to do shortcuts if you want to write a very long word, for example, programming, right? Try not to make it such as that you want to make it into a short form as PRG because this will confuse people reading your code. And these skills or concepts that you learn actually is transferable to any other language. And with this, writing code is actually writing a book. Your statement and words are your code, literally. A good book is a book I find that is readable that anybody can understand. 
But when you write code, it has to be understandable, readable, and concise. You can take an example of the documentation of Flutter. I'm a fan of Flutter, by the way. They have amazing documentation. Not perfect, but better than average documentation. I would say that if you were to go to their source code or their source files, it actually contains 50% of documentation and the other is code. Because they know that explaining on what the code does makes people not wreck their brain in reading what the hell they are trying to implement. And that's why people love Flutter because it's understandable. That's it. To summarize, to have a wholesome and motivating experience in learning, focus on the fundamentals of programming. Find a problem and create a solution using code while learning to code because this will motivate you in creating the solution that you have in your mind. And also, I think not a lot of people emphasize this, but the readability of your code, I feel is really very important because you are writing code for others. Will someone else be able to understand what you write in your project or your code? So that's it. Hopefully this is helpful for those beginners out there. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.